Negro and God the zero. But brothers and sisters, that's how we can tell the, the difference between whether we are giving glory to God or glory to man. The way we can tell that, my brothers and sisters, is whether we walk in the spirit of glory or the spirit of truth or the spirit of error. Now let me show you this because first we, to understand what the spirit of glory is, we have to understand what man's glory is because many times people have made a mistake in thinking man's glory or mistaken man's glory for God's glory. And we don't want to do that because then if we start thinking that God's glory is man's glory, we start giving man all the praise and man all the glory and man, you know, uh, 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 worshiping him and exalting and lifting him up versus exalting and lifting up God. Hallelujah. So let's look at this when you talk about man's glory. Man's glory, every single time when it comes to man's glory, he wants you or he's going to convict you into believing a lie. Because anything that tries to rob God of his glory is nothing but a lie. Anything that man uses to try to rob God of his glory is nothing but a lie. Uh, go with me, if you will, to uh, 2 Th Thessalonians. Chapter 2, Sister Carol, mm -hmm. and we start at verse number 9. 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, and verse number 9. Man's glory. Thank you, Lord. Even he whose coming is according to the work of Satan. Now, this is the man of lawlessness, the man of sin, the man of perdition, who is doomed for destruction. And this man that we're looking at here, this man that we're talking about here, is the ultimate person in whose face of uh, uh, rebellion would be revealed, and that is the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says that in the last days, when we know that we're in the last time before the Lord come, there will be a great falling away or a great rebellion. Mm -hmm. And this great rebellion is tied into the Antichrist because it, that's the ultimate rebellion right. when he leads all men astray. That's why it's so we have to be so careful in following man and not following God. And that's what we're talking about in Bible class is that you got to look to God's word and make sure that you're being led right versus just listening to what a man is telling you. It might sound good, might make you feel good, but if it's a lie, it's going to lead you to the wrong place. Mm -hmm. And so we got to get on the right track with the right thing. And so he says here, and he, even he rather, whose coming is according to the working of what? Satan. The working of Satan. Hallelujah. Now, what is the working of Satan? See, because when you, if you're going to talk about the working of Satan, what is the working of Satan? Mm -hmm. Let's look at, if you will, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, I believe it is, and verse 11. Yeah. I'm sorry, 12, 13, says Carol. 11, 12, 11, 13, I'm sorry. <laughs> At the back. 11, 13. Hallelujah. 11, 13. You got three. three. You got 111. There you go. Thanks. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workers, masquerading as well. Why did they do that? And no wonder for even Satan, what does he do? Masquerades as an angel. So he's not walking around trying to be the devil. Right. Or as the devil has exposed him and revealed to us what he's like and what his works are, you have to understand that Satan is not going to appear to us like that. Right. Satan, when it says who's working, who's working. So Satan is always trying to transform himself yeah. as an angel of light. Yeah. And, and, and look what it says here. Uh, and no wonder for even Satan masquerades as an angel of light. It is no great thing, therefore, if his ministers also masquerade as servants of righteousness, whose end will be according to what? Their works. Their works. So when you talk about Satan, go back to uh, 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 2 Thessalonians. So when you talk about Satan, and you look at him, even he whose coming is according to the working of Satan. Now, the working of Satan is trying to transform himself as an angel of light. He's not coming to you as they draw him in the media to be with the horns and a, a, a pitchfork and saying, I'm the devil and I'm here to deceive you and lead you to hell. Right. The devil's job is to deceive you. Yeah. The devil's job is to make you think that he's of God when he's not. Mm -hmm. So we got a work to do. Mm -hmm. 
my brothers and sisters, in being careful to understand and knowing what is the spirit of glory and what is man's glory. Because if we get caught up and start following man's glory, we will fall into the devil's trap. And you got to understand that he's not going to appear to us to be and then doing things for his own glory, but it's going to make it seem like it's for God's glory. And with all power, according to the working of Satan, with all power and signs. And what is that? Lying wonders. Lying wonders. Satan ain't nothing but a lie. Mm -hmm. And everything he does is a lie. Mm -hmm. Remember Simon the sorcerer, he was nothing but a lie. He amazed the people with his magic and had a spell on him. And that's what we got to be careful today, my brother and sister, if we want to grow, if we want to be what God would have us to be, if we want to be giants of the Lord, and if we want the spirit of glory to change our lives, then you've got to be able to discern and distinguish between what is the spirit of glory and what is man's glory. Because man's glory will deceive you into thinking that it is the spirit of glory. Mm -hmm. And you will follow that and be led straight into hell. Because that's the ultimate place where the devil wants you to go. The Bible says uh, hell has been prepared for Satan and his angels. But it also said it has been enlarged for anybody that wants to go there. Mm. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand that hell was not made for you. Yes, thank you, Lord. It was made for Satan and his angels, but Satan wants to deceive people so that they can follow him right into hell. That's what Jesus said. Broad is the gate, broad is the way, and wide is the gate that leads to destruction. And how many? Many. Many people will be to go therein. So you got to find a narrow and a straight good door. He said, strive to enter through the narrow door because many will try and will not be able to because they have been caught right here. Mm -hmm. So man's glory is, is getting you to believe a lie. And with all deception of wickedness, for those who are being lost, wickedness is, is that unrighteousness or suppressing the truth. See? Because they didn't receive the love of the what? So, they were captured by all of this. That they might be saved. And that's the problem today, is getting people to have a love for the truth. Mm -hmm. So much pressure has been put on the preacher mm -hmm. and the teacher that he got to lie to you. Mm -hmm. Just to keep you encouraged, just to keep you moving, motivated, just to keep you moving forward. Yes. How do you? Uh, he's being pressured to encourage you in your mess. You think you can live any kind of way you want to live and still be saved. But you can't. You got to repent. God wants to see a change in your life. Hallelujah. Good music is fine, but it can't change you. Entertainment is fine, but it can't change you. None of that stuff can change you but the spirit of God. The spirit of glory. Yes. That's what you need to change. That's what you need in your life. That's the power that you need to work in you yes. to bring about a change. How do you just look over at your neighbor and say, neighbor? Neighbor. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. Hallelujah. It's time to be changed yes. into the glory of God. The devil trying to rob God of his glory. Yes, he's trying to work on our minds, our hearts, our spirit to deceive us, to get us caught up in the foolishness, to get us caught up in stuff that ain't of God. So he can rob God of his glory, but it's time to take a stand and say, For God I live, and for God I die. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because of this, verse 11, God sends them a working error. And I like, I think NIV says, a strong a delusion. Mm -hmm. Put them out of delusion. That when they believe a lie, when they'll be deceived. A working error, not from this comes from God because they refuse to love the truth. Mm -hmm. A working error that they should what? Believe, believe a lie. And that's man's glory. That's all that's going to lead you to yeah. is believe on a lie. Yes. That's all. Believing a lie. Hallelujah. If you would go with me, if you will, we must not never. Get caught up in man's glory. Mm -hmm. Because it not only would it deceive us and convince us to believe a lie, but it will cause us to get caught up in man's ability, mm -hmm. man's gifts. Because mm -hmm. man is gifted. Yes, he's he gifted is. to sing. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's gifted to lead. Mm -hmm. And he's gifted to speak. And the most effective gift is his 
gift to speak, being a great orator, mm -hmm. to fool the masses. That's man's glory. 1 Corinthians 2, chapter 1. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Paul, we talked to the, uh, the Corinthians. Uh, Kerakovi, I want to use the, this wording, but I want to use the new century, make it more plain to you. Dear brothers and sisters, when I came to you, I did not come preaching God's secret, that's the mysteries, with fancy words or a show of human wisdom. See, man's glory. I decided that while I was with you, I would forget all about everything except Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. Him being crucified. Hallelujah. Because that's the only thing that's going to save you. Your faith in him. Mm -hmm. So when I came to you, I was weak mm -hmm. and fearful and trembling. Hallelujah. Remember, in, in, in 2 Corinthians, when Paul was talking about those that were talking about him, they say he writes some weighty letters. But in person, he is unimpressive mm -hmm. and is speaking amounts to nothing. Mm -hmm. wow. That was because they were carnal minded, and that's all they could see. They were looking for man's glory. Right. And yeah. he was exemplifying yeah. God's glory. Yeah, that's right. See? And they missed the boat. Don't come in here looking for man's glory. Yeah. You got to look for God's glory. Yes, thank you, Lord. The spirit of glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he said, So when I came to you, I was weak, fearful, and trembling. Nothing was impressive about me. Nothing to write home to mom about, nothing to go spread the word and come see a man. Mm -hmm. To my teaching and my preaching, my teaching and preaching were not with words of human wisdom. Mm -hmm. Man's glory. Mm -hmm. That persuade people, but with proof mm -hmm. of the power that the Spirit gives. So when he came with the power of the Spirit. And a lot of times, if we're not careful, we'll miss the spirit of glory. Right, right. The power of God's spirit. Yes. Looking for man's glory. Yes. Looking for that which man can produce. Yes. You see, in today's time, many folks have been born into a lie. Yes. When I, when I say born into a lie, I'm talking spiritual. Mm -hmm. They were born in a lie. When you got saved, when we got saved, some of us were born into a lie. Yes. And so we grew up spiritually speaking. Mm -hmm. I'm using natural illustration, metaphor. We grew up spiritually believing that lie. Right. Yeah. All our life thinking that that was truth when it was a lie. Mm -hmm. That it was of God and it was of man. Yes. So when we didn't see that, we thought that that wasn't God. And so we miss the boat because we're looking for the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. So Paul says here, I want you to get established on the right foundation. And he says, I didn't preach with words of human wisdom that persuade people, but with proof of the power that the Spirit gives. Why? This was so that your faith, because whatever you hear, faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And so what you hear affects your faith. Right. So you got to protect yourself from what you hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful of the stuff that you read, the things you look at TV online. Mm -hmm. How do you got to be careful of that stuff? Because if it's not glorifying God, who is it glorifying? Right. Hallelujah. When you have the spirit of glory working in you, you looking, you got spiritual eyes to see what God wants you to see. Mm -hmm. You're looking in a spiritual way. Hallelujah. This was so that your faith would be in what? God's power. Not man's glory, not man's power. See, man's power is title, is position. Man's power is money. Wait, well, and you can do a lot of stuff with money. Like Simon the Sorcerer, he had money. He thought he could buy a gift to God, but he couldn't. See, so money, don't let money deceive you. Because money does have power. But it's not God's power. It's not spiritual power. But if I'm born into the wrong thing and I start looking for the wrong thing, I begin to think that 
This is God's glory, yeah. but it's really man's glory. Right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This was so that your faith would be in God's power and not where? In human wisdom. There it is again, not in human wisdom. Why? Because human wisdom is the glory of man. Hallelujah. So my brothers and sisters, I want to 